Oh, and they went in all by themselves last night. I only had to catch one chicken. I think that's a good sign. They went in. I didn't have to catch chickens like I did previously. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. You guys, I have been awake since, right now it's like seven o'clock. I've been awake since 4.30 this morning. I used to do that a lot before we moved and once we sold the house, it just, it was kind of hard to get into the routine of always waking up early. But y'all, I absolutely love, love, waking up early i've gotten so much done today is going to be a homestead update showing you what we've done over the last week i'm excited about it we'll let y'all out and then i'll grab one here we go come on chicken well here's one thing i've noticed since letting the chickens out more often now they're not eating as much of the feed. That's great, saving money. It's hilarious to me, their communication, whenever you put something new out, how just one might see it and then it takes a second, then everybody runs to it, it's just, it's fun. Okay, this is what we have done with the chickens. We just now got our solar energizer in. I'm not gonna share that video with you today. I'm gonna do that on the next one. But we finally got the solar powered one and I think that's gonna be the right choice for us. The weird thing with all this poultry netting is our chickens are still too small for it. So we're trying to figure out a way to save money but still keep them a little bit more contained without having to buy the Premier One shock or not chick fencing. Honestly, I think that's just the better fencing all around for chickens. I don't know why they call this electric poultry netting. It keeps out the big ones. I'm not griping at all. This netting was given to us. We're gonna make it work. So what I did, just let me show you what I did. So what I have here is I took some chicken wire. This is just two foot high, like 24 inch high wide chicken wire. And I just strung it up and I put it all the way on the ground around the chick shawl. So basically they can't get out. If they, whenever they go under the chick shawl, they really can't get in or out. So it's kind of a nice little place. And whenever it's sunny, they go under here. And I have them a little run just around it. So this is not a lot of space, but they're super happy. They're really digging it. They're really liking it. And as long as I keep them with some fresh wood chips and bedding they are just happy as can be it's way better than keeping them in the chick shawl all day which is what i had to do once they got too big for the tractor and then i wanted to transition them over to the chick shawl is they just had to stay in there for most of the time because they would go out of the netting so they have this little bitty run they can't fly over this because i've clipped their wings so that's good the one thing that they can do is they can I think they can jump about two feet high currently, but they can't grab a hold of this, so they don't really try to. Now they can, I didn't see that happening, is they jump up here and perch, and then from here they jump over. So it's not a perfect system, but it's better than nothing. The good thing is it keeps most of them contained in here, and when one of them tries to get out, we can easily get it back in, because once it sees that it's kind of has that barrier it just wants to get back into the flock when versus when they came out of the netting they just wanted to go it's still not a perfect fix but hey it, it gets us a little bit every single day and again if i keep them fresh bedding in here they're happy you can see right now this is just all leftover stuff and they are super excited and they're happy actually just click to something probably what I should do is once I put them up at night I should get some fresh bedding and put it over here that way the dew will bring in some bugs and some extra you know life in the soil underneath to where they get a little bit more excited in the morning oh and they went in all by themselves last night I only had to catch one chicken and put it in 
I think that's a good sign. They went in. I didn't have to catch chickens like I did previously. <laughs> that was, that was insane. <laughs> it was stupid, but we just had to do it. In terms of uh, food and water, again, their, their f feed is doing great. Like they're really, they're a lot more interested in getting into the, the grass. I'm gonna start hopefully fermenting the feed in the next couple of weeks. And the water is super clean. Also what I've been doing is I've been getting, you know, the sandiest soil that I can get here on my property and then taking a, a shovel full of, hey, were you trying to get my ring? They try to get your, well, see, they try to peck your ring. I got some gravel for some grit. Let me know if that's good enough. Should I get any kind of other gravel? I don't know, let me know. Oh, and there is the energizer right there. I need to charge it up with the AC plug because this is the first day of sun. But maybe, hopefully the sun will charge it up today and then we'll be able to have a hot fence. They are fighting a lot. Definitely have lots of roosters because they kind of buck up and fight constantly. It's hilarious. Look, look, you see it? Oh, are you really one? Oh man, I hope you, look, 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 look. It is so funny seeing them fight. Chuck, look at this. <laughs> more and more every single day, I am seeing, we have a lot of roosters. All right, so gonna show you the rabbits. So we actually moved the rabbits. They are way happier. You can just tell how much happier they are that we moved them because we got them out of the sun. You know, all animals need shade, but really, really rabbits, they do great in any kind of cold weather, but it's the hot weather that you gotta protect them from. We moved them from this area, but this was facing south. So whenever the sun was coming, the, the sun was just blasting them in the face. That actually faces now east, and it has all of this great tree cover. Well, it's getting bright, sun's coming out. So whenever the sun comes from here, it's rising right now in the east because it's, it's gonna go over here in the west. So basically about midday, they are already in shade. So about noon, uh, they are already getting, I mean, they pretty much get shade all day long. And then once it's the hottest part of the day, they are just happy, happy, happy. I have the fan running back again. So what the plan is, I'm gonna catch all the bugs because we're in the shade here. So there's lots of bugs and mosquitoes. This is gonna harvest a lot of bugs. Then I'm gonna take this net, this no seam netting, and then I'll just take it off and go give it to the chickens and they'll have some fresh bugs in the morning. Okay, so here's the rabbits already fed and watered them. So Rex here is doing good. Don't need to see him, you see him a lot. Blue may or may not be pregnant, not really sure. That'd be cool if she is. I think Lilac is pregnant. And then here are all of her bunnies. Oh my goodness, these bunnies are way too big. This is insane. I'm sorry. This is not what I want. Gotta get these guys out on the pasture. Gotta figure this out really fast. I'm gonna share my plan with them. They're gonna be in here for two more days and then they are out. They are gone and they're gonna be on pasture um, for the rest of their lives. This is Lilac 2, this is the mom, and then Rex is the dad. So you can, you can see the resemblance. So they're gonna be going on pasture here in the next couple of days. Then there are these two. Basically, they just planned on becoming pets, being pets by Ella and Ollie. Since they've gotten big, they really loved them when they were little bunnies. They loved the little bunnies, but now that they're big, they don't really care about them anymore because they're kind of dangerous. They're boys. Unfortunately, we wanted for one of them to be a girl, they both ended up to be boys. Well, it's just time. We're, they're not gonna be pets anymore. So we're, I think we're gonna keep one of them. I'm thinking of keeping the white one. Kelly kinda wants the black one. She's like, oh, we get a black bunny. But white rabbits sell better. Just for a pet, it's just white rabbits are better. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking is that we might just graduate the black one and keep the white one because he's a buck and he could be the backup for Rex for a little while. 
and also then we'd have that white to be able to breed back to blue because blue's the mom and yes you can do that but also breed him to lilac and i think that combination could be a really cool looking rabbit so let's talk a little bit about infrastructure for the animals and then we'll come back and talk about the garden. This was where we kept the chickens. Once we moved them out of the brooder, well actually I put them in here every single morning and then put the chickens up at night and then we transitioned them to living in here full time and they really did good and I moved them every single day. Updates I need to do is I actually need to frame out the roof. So just like I have with these one by ones, I need to make a proper roof for that with hinges out of wood. Besides the fact that I need to come back in here and really put U-nails in these instead of just the normal staples, that didn't work. So I need to put the U-nails in there because the staples are popping out. Then I need to go to Home Depot and get a whole bunch more of this plastic roofing. This is my first project whenever Kelly and the kids are gone. So today's Saturday, Kelly and the kids are gone on Monday. No, they are gone on Sunday for like five days. So I can get a lot done. I'm gonna miss them, but I'm gonna be able to get a lot done. So I'm gonna put some runners, some uh, one by ones at the bottom and probably extend this out in, this, in the center part to where I'll put a couple of one by ones or maybe a two by four or something over on the edges like that so that with, whenever they try to burrow, they're not gonna go super deep, or at least once they burrow a little bit, it will kinda um, stall them just a tad. Hopefully that's the plan. Then a couple of runners uh, so they don't burrow in the center. Something like that, but something to where they're, they have some sort of wood on the bottom. And then also what I'd like to do is put maybe some boards back here so that whenever you tractor them, They'll hop on the back and they don't get their feet caught underneath the boards. Garden is doing pretty good. The sweet potatoes finally coming out. That is exciting. The, I'm gonna let these go probably another week. Then I can start snipping off each of these. Then I'll put them in water inside, let them get some roots. And then I can start planting more sweet potato vines all over the place. Spinach is doing good. This is, we're really not eating the spinach. This is really just going towards the, for the rabbits, for extra feed to get them some greens. We have one banana plant that Jeannie gave us. Woo! A banana tree. So awesome, so awesome. Now I'm gonna share with you, let's see, where is it? Perfect, there it is. This is our best looking mulberry tree. This is from Jeannie that she gave us all of these mulberries. So this was probably, she, I think we, she gave us maybe five big long cuttings of mulberries. These are white mulberries. And I was able to make 31 cuttings. This is the only one that's really having strong growth and it's now starting to take off. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am stoked. The rest of the mulberries are having Small amounts of growth, but it's still growing. So like that one right there. All right, so the plan over here is that we are going to take those baby bunnies. Of, they're not baby bunnies anymore, but those bunnies from Lilac, and we're going to tractor them all over here. This is why we spent 100 bucks for cover crop. Green cover seed, you guys rocked it out. I mean, look at this. So here's some of the grasses that came through. Here's some of the legumes. Man, it's looking good, looking good. I'm excited, excited, excited. I don't know what this is. I hope that this is some of the grass, man. All right, last thing I'm gonna share with you is going to be the green stock. So it's doing pretty good. We ended up taking one of our cattle panels and putting it up here. We have strung, oh, I need to get this guy up, bam. That, this guy fell over the last couple of days. We haven't gotten any produce from this really, except for Ollie got a couple of beans. It's, it's doing decent. It's not, oh, here's a couple of peppers. That's kind of cool. So there's some banana peppers there, some more peppers. The peppers are actually doing good here. 
The beans are getting a lot of green, so we can turn this green into rabbit food. Here is a watermelon here, so that's cool. This is an okra. It doesn't explode with growth the way that I expected it to. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Here is a, another sweet potato, so that's exciting to get more sweet potatoes here. And then these are some really expensive, these are some CSA sweet potatoes that just started sprouting. So I'm excited to get these guys in the mix and then hopefully I can start really propagating these and keeping them forever. These sweet potatoes are huge. All right, so here is what we have for our tomatoes. Really cool, yummy, yummy. Kelly and the kids are out of town, all of the kids. It is just me and the animals here and it is my job to get so many things done here around the house. I need to go get my phone. They're getting big.